sorry for the bad angle, but this is literally the only place I can put my phone without it being illegal. Let's go. So I have hospital booked in tomorrow, which is great. I do this thing and I do it every time and I've been having this for 14 years and I still do it. I put down my next treatment in my calendar, but then I forget whether or not I've actually booked it in for that day or if I have just put it there to remind myself to book it. Um, turns out I did book it. They called me and were like, we can't find the results for your blood test that we did yesterday. And I was like, that's because I didn't have blood tests yesterday because you didn't tell me I have blood tests. Now I have had to drop everything and quickly run to the hospital and have blood taken away from me uh, as per usual. That's fun. Yeah, and then I've got to go to the theater. So we're going to have a fun day. 46, please. Why do these things like to stick out of my head? Right, well that was extremely long and boring, but we're all done. Every time I go for a blood test, they get really creeped out by me because I have to watch it. I've been having this done since I was, I don't know, a baby. I'm used to the whole blood thing. And they always get really freaked out like, Are you sure you wanna, you wanna watch? And I'm like, yeah. If anything, to watch to see if you're actually doing it right. We are up and ready to go to the hospital. Seven o'clock in the morning. I am incredibly jet lagged. I didn't fall asleep until about five this morning. Great. And I've also got this guy here. I'm gonna get up and go make myself a coffee. And then we're gonna go and pick up Cameron, who's coming with me, drive to the hospital. Literally driving in front of Ryan Murphy right now. I can't zoom in, but that's his car. Oh no, I've now forgot to change lanes. You don't have any beds for me, which means I now have to spend the next six hours. On a chair. On a chair. Everyone else goes in for half an hour, and I'm like, you can sit in a chair for half an hour. On yeah. the plus side of it, we saw Ryan Murphy. I can't believe I forgot my bloody disabled badge. <laughs> the one day I really, really need it. Forget and my disabled badge. That. Can Carrie reach this? Yes, you can. Hey, can Carrie reach this? Yeah. I got hit in the head by one of them. Mm -hmm. I feel like you're not even British if you don't do this. Yeah. Hello, everyone. This is Kerry right here. She's currently got things on her own. I don't care how old I am, these will always make me laugh. When I was six, I wouldn't sit still. They just gave me like loads of toys and were like, play a game for 10 minutes in the boiling water. It feels like I'm holding a boyfriend. It's going in a new place. I've never had it here before. I've never had it in this part of my arm. You ready? Yeah. Does that feel all right? Yeah. Very good vein. It's like I can use my wrist. I've never been able to use my wrist. It's the little things. Yeah, it feels weird because I've never had it there. When you zoom really close into my hand, you just see every single scar from every single candy that I've ever had in my wrist. You can see them all down there. Oh, yeah. And that one as well. So you can see like every individual one. I'm going to have a new one now. I know. It's only making their way up my arm. Right, let's run in. How does it feel? Fine. It feels great. Down deep. Good. We'll find out. <laughs> queen. A drama queen. So we've just found out that my vitamin D levels are high. Crazy, because I... Higher. Because, um, well, I don't know why, but I haven't been taking my medications. Oh, I've just been in LA for two months. I've just been in the sun. Oh. I thought you were going to say something else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is me. Carrie's about to get in trouble. Don't break it. I think so. <laughs> you have. So we're all done, and I'm very tired. And now I'm gonna go to the show that we're doing tonight. Gotta do more techie, techie, soundy, soundy, chaperoney, chaperone. Well, I'm not chaperone. I'm DBS Andy check though, so it's fine. And this time I will try not to lean my book on the space bar and put a thunder noise during a really slow dance. <laughs> I just put my credit card in the ticket thing and it took it and I got really scared. <laughs> I have 27 miles left and Bracknell is 14, so... Did that. Hello, it's me editing. I just realised that I didn't do an outro for this video, so here is an outro for this video. So that is a day in the life of a hospital trip for brittle bone disease, which is what I have. My treatment is one day every four months. It used to be three days every three months. I have been responding well, so that's all looking good. If you have any questions, go head over to my Instagram. I have a brittle bone highlight 
which should answer all your questions. But if it doesn't, then tweet me or drop me a DM and I will try and answer as best as I can. I don't know if I can call this a day in the life because it's literally one day of my life every four months, but we're going to call it that anyway. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.